Hello, this is Tannen Auto Electronics again. Today we'll be showing you how to remove a 2007 to 2014 GM truck, SUV, etc. cluster. This is applicable for many models. Uh, this particular model is a Suburban, but all the clusters are the same from 2007 to 2014. So first step is to use a flat blade tool again and pop this um, vent assembly out of the dash. You'll see the clip here that holds it in place. Okay, once that's out, there'll be a Phillips head screw here. Remove that. Same on the right side. This entire panel needs to be popped out. You don't have to pull it out all the way, but you'll have to use a small flat blade tool again and gently pop out each clip. You can get it about that far and then just leave it for now. There's another Phillips head screw here. Once those two screws are out, there's another two up here. There's one right here and then one over here. You'll have to use a stubby Phillips head screwdriver. A long one probably won't fit in this, this length here. So once those two screws are out, this trim piece can come out of here. Just pop straight out. And then you'll have the cluster, which has four screws. I believe they're seven millimeter again, just like everything else that we've been doing. Two on top, and then two underneath behind this trim panel. And the next video segment will show you how to pop this trim panel out, but again, it's just it's clipped into the cluster. The best way to get this trim piece out is to insert a flat blade tool right around this area and then pop straight out. You'll see there's a, um, maybe not. Turn on flash here. This long piece right here has a clip on the back which clips into the cluster. So that's where you need to, to pop it out, pry it out of there. Same thing on the other side. There's a long clip that goes into the cluster right there. And then you'll see the screws on the bottom top will just pop right out easily. I don't even need a tool for that. Um, like all the other clusters, it's probably a good idea to put the shifter into low gear so you can get the trim out of there like that. And then the issue with this is that these two screens will go out, they'll fade, and you won't be able to see your displays anymore. Okay, we've removed the screws in the cluster, two on this side, two on the right side. Seven millimeter socket works fine for that. And to take it out, similar process with other GMs and other vehicles in general. You have to flip it and spin it to get it in a spot where you can remove the plug. And clip on top, or tab on top, you just push down and it pulls right out. Now other issues with these are complete power loss, where nothing works at all, gauge issues, where certain gauges don't work, um, but most commonly it's the displays that go out and we can repair that with no problem. If you do have other issues, more serious issues, we can attempt to repair them. Otherwise, we also offer plug-and-play replacement clusters where we'll program the mileage and the, the VIN information right into the cluster and you just plug it in. So thanks for watching. Again, we're Tannen Auto Electronics. You can contact us at 262-456-4147 or www.tannenautoelectronics.com. And we look forward to helping you with any issues that you have. Thanks for watching.